Welcome back, Tribe. I have one here from uh, Fox 26 Houston News. The end of the nightclub era. So the question tonight, is the fun nature of the nightclub scene dying out? Some people have been complaining about how much the culture of the club has changed in the past few years. Instead of dancing, people have their eyes glued to their damn cell phones and posting on social media. And we can't forget to mention the cost after paying for parking, entry, and then a section that's at private area with your little bottles. Some just aren't in a party mood anymore. We have beverage director and consultant Bevan Biggers, owner of bars and nightclubs, Sean Outlaw, and an occasional club goer, Rico Davis. So, Rico, what? how has a club, in your opinion, from your perspective, lost its appeal? I believe uh, the parking first, uh, because you're looking at paying almost... 40 to $50 if you do valet parking. Mm -hmm. And just to get to the door, you're looking at sometimes 20, maybe $30. So you're looking at $80 just before you even get in the door. Right. And uh, it's just, it's not fun anymore when you have to spend so much money. It's not the money because we were already spending a ton of money. If you've ever partied, went to places like Vegas, especially getting through the door is $100. Forget about parking. Men have been dropping boatloads of money. The issue isn't the money. The issue is the culture has shifted. It's not fun to go to clubs anymore because nobody there is single. Nobody there is trying to mingle. Nobody there is trying to have a good time, blow off steam and dance and just enjoy their night. It's completely changed now. People go to the clubs already with dates lined up or just looking to mooch off everybody else trying to get into the VIP section. That's become the new thing now. The VIP. If you go to a club without having a VIP section, there's no point anymore. You have to get a bottle. You have to be over there in the special section, especially if you're a man and you want women around you because nobody's trying to be packed like sardines in the middle of the dance floor anymore because nobody's even dancing anymore. It's a massive culture shift, man. The only places you'll probably find decent clubs to go and just really enjoy yourself on the dance floor with strangers that are approachable, that don't give you an attitude like is the common thing going on today is like Spanish clubs or any clubs outside of the West. I should say really the United States because clubs in Eastern Europe, clubs in other parts of the world, Latin America, I'm sure are popping off. Everybody's having a great time. People go there to blow steam, meet people. Interesting conversations are had, dancing, fun times. Clubbing in America is a complete joke nowadays. Apart from, and man, I've been, the last time I was at Vegas, just seeing the club crowd made me cringe. The last time I think clubs were even in was when DJs were in. There was that period between what, 2013, 14, 15, when uh, house music was huge, when you had like Martin Garrix, Steve Aoki, Tiesto, all these dudes were in Swedish house mafia, all that. They were pumping out club music and pre-COVID, pre-insanity with gender ideology, pre-cancel culture, wokeness, just taking over everything. People were just enjoying themselves. I think that was the tail end of club culture and where we've arrived today, where everybody is literally at each other's throats. You can't even go up and say hi to somebody anymore. Everybody looks at each other like enemies. Women are not approachable at clubs like they used to be. If anything, the audacity and the propaganda and the poison of social media has infected so many minds of women that it's making them completely unapproachable at the club. On top of all the things men have seen in just the last 10 years or so regarding to false allegations, um, allegations after the fact, if you even have a successful night, and in general, it not being worth even approaching women anymore due to the hoflation, as it's known today. What's the point? To go out to a club, to spend money on crappy valet, to be surrounded by crappy people in a nightclub, to have crappy outcomes... Nobody dancing, everybody staring at their phones, everybody trying to act tough or the girls acting snobby. And for what? To go home at the end of the night, wasted, feel like shit the next morning and not have a good time at all. There's a million other things you can do today than go to your average club in whatever city you're in in America and essentially have this boring night out. I'm not in that lifestyle anymore, but you could see the writing on the wall even back when I was doing it to have a good time so yours is more on the financial aspect rather than people who are inside on their cell phones not paying attention not even socializing no one dancing anymore right you would see someone in a club and they're just literally on their phone 
the whole time. If you sit there, sometimes I like to do a lot of people watch. Mm -hmm. I would actually sit there and watch someone on their phone that long. It's like, it's no fun. I mean, you know, me growing up, we, we go out to dance to have a good time. But if your face is glued to the phone, what kind of fun is that? Mm -hmm. Sean, your perspective as, a, as an owner out there, uh, do you see many people not enjoying themselves or you let the millennials and, and the Gen Zers just stay well, on their phones as long as they're spending that money with you? Yeah, I mean, we work pretty hard for people to have a good time. Uh -huh. uh, we make sure that whether it's the music, the uh, MC, the host, or maybe a guest we might bring on, um, they do a lot of twerking. Now, I don't know if you call that dancing, <laughs> but there's a lot of twerking going on. Uh, but yeah, no, the people are on their phones a lot. A lot of times they're just, they're showing what they're doing. Or right, what instead they're, of doing yeah, it. Instead of doing it. Yeah. They're not living in the moment, and I see that. But at the same time, I mean, you know, if you want to be on your phone and buy buy drinks, then I guess that's that's your business. And that's an important aspect, Bevan, that people want to show social media what they're doing but they're not actually they're doing not. it because when i sometimes when i go out they'll be on their phones and the only time they dance is if somebody has a camera in their face like hey girl ooh. and then right when the, the camera's done back on the <laughs> phone i'm like what is going on me i'm i'm definitely a, a dance person so that's why i'm like at the flat a lot because people come in there specifically to dance and drink and dance like mm -hmm. i'm literally i'm coming there to sweat but it's really hard for me to enjoy myself. The music um, sucks. I'm not a section person. I'm not going to get a bottle. I just want a few drinks, and I just want to dance. And our places like the flat, fewer and far in between now. Very few and far in between. But there's like a house movement going on. So there's a lot of like, like private party. Like house party? No, like house music party music scene where people are coming out specifically to dance. And it's usually house music. Mm -hmm. That's Exactly. Most of the music they're putting out today is garbage. And the DJs they bring over there is garbage. Nobody wants to dance to the trash that they're playing on air anymore. I'm telling you, you're not replacing house music. End of story. And they're trying to play like rap, hip hop and fucking R&B and all this other garbage. And it's just not working. The Latin clubs are popping off because they play all their Latin songs that they all dance to. That's usually the, the scene where we're dancing the most. Everything else is twerking periodically for the camera, for your phone. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, not, I'm just not enjoying myself if I can't dance. And so, Rico, have you said, you know what, this is not for me. I might as well stay home. Yes. Or do you go to house party? What's your alternative? My alternative is either like a lounge, mm -hmm. someplace really where you're not going to dance. You just really go there to socialize and mm -hmm. network. Um, you know, I always say if I had to put together a party, it was one of those requirements where you have to leave your cell phone in the car. And I asked people, I was like, would you be interested? And a lot of people said, you know what, I would go. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be great. Because now people really get to dance and talk and, you know, communication. Because with cell phones now, there's no communications at all. And Sean, you said you're hiring more entertainment at, at your spots. Do you think that will draw people out? Or is that even... An you you sounded like you're satisfied with it as long as they keep spending their money. Yeah, I mean, no, but, but, but I, I think that we we spend a lot of effort into making sure our customers have a good time, and we do get special guests, uh, musicians, artists, or, or people on, t on TV shows and things like that, and people do want to see them. Mm -hmm. But, of course, to your point, they're filming them in the background because right. they're in the same place. So it's yeah. kind of funny, yeah. you know. But, yeah, I mean, I would say, though, you know, in terms of it being expensive to go out, Right? There was some complaints about, well, it's getting kind of high to go out. Uh -huh. There is. But I think if you were to go to the store, buy a bottle of liquor, buy all the mixers, get a DJ to come to your house, get a bunch of waitresses to bring you everything. You no, bro, it's infinitely cheaper. Don't even. That's the business owner just trying to sell you on his bullshit prices. Having a kickback is infinitely cheaper than going to the club. He is not selling me or anybody on that horseshit. And the kickbacks are a thousand times better. The only time I enjoyed being in a club was overseas out of America. I was stationed in England at 21 years old and it changed my life. I got back to America and went back into shock and got guarded. Stop going to clubs dealing with the toxic crowd. Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, Latin America people still go to clubs to dance and not have stare downs and stank attitudes. There you go, man. Told you. Millennial here used to go clubbing in my early 20s and it was so much fun. Uh, naming off a bunch of artists would blast through the speakers and music would switch to dance hall. We would dance and have a good time. Hell, we got dressed up to go to the club. 
The cell phone was used to call friends, but was quickly put away once inside. Once we left the club, we would stop by a 24-hour diner having fun. Can't imagine the club experience not being like this anymore. I also blame today's current music. Exactly. There's no club bangers. It sounds like depression. <laughs> it's no wonder Gen Z is reaching into the millennium bag for music. I don't blame them. Someone else says, I'm a lounge person. Uh, just became a brunt. No one cares, lady. As a young millennial, I started going out in 09 and was clubbing for 10 years. I did notice things starting to change suddenly around, see, 2017. But the change was drastic after the pandemic. The music in the early mid-10s was made for parties and good vibes. Plus, we went to clubs to dance, enjoy the music, and meet people. I don't remember taking photos or sharing stories while in a club. I still try going out and visiting EDM festivals, but it's not the same. They either play music from the 2000s or the 2010s or some depressing or some depressing shit from the 2020s that doesn't make you want to dance. Plus, people just stand there scrolling through their phones and not interacting. But when they dance, it's very vulgar twerking, especially because many clubs play reggaeton. They also play pay hundreds of dollars to sit in VIP and take photos with expensive bottles, but that's about it. It does seem like the nightclub era is fading. Yep, in the United States, it sure is. Um, the... The energy of the place is extremely important and the DJs absolutely matter. When they have shitty DJs, it's a complete different energy shift as far as dancing and having fun goes. The DJ makes the night and a shitty track selection will absolutely ruin it for everybody. If you want to go to good clubs, if you're interested in clubbing, if you're young and you want to get a taste of that lifestyle, you have to find EDM or Spanish clubs and that's it. If Spanish isn't your thing for whatever reason outside your culture, or maybe you just like EDM house music, electronic music in general, you, you have to go there. Better if you can go to Europe. It's a completely different vibe, man. They're just not putting out club bangers anymore like that other person said. I'm glad I got to experience it. It's what brought me out of my shell initially. And the amount of people I met and the amount of stories I got to have and just seeing that kind of life helped mold me. And gave me some valuable insight between, you know, men and women and hookup culture and all the stuff we talk about. So fond memories, <laughs> to say the least. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, everyone. If you have a minute, please head over to legionofmen.store and grab yourself some cool merch as well. We have a bunch of limited edition designs, brand new stuff on the way, and all the proceeds go to supporting the channel. We don't want to be sponsored by corporations where we have to submit videos for review, have our speech impeded, or push any products that we don't use. So thank you so much to everybody that goes into the shop. Again, it's legionofmen.store. I'll put it up here for you guys. First time customers get a 10% off, and we have a bunch of great designs. Buy artists from the community that watch the channel and support they get proceeds as well a percentage of everything that gets sold so community funded through and through again appreciate you guys